Hello, oh, wet hair and all. I am um, very stressed out right now and it's manifesting in this like red rash that I always get around my mouth. It's called perioral dermatitis. Uh, no, it's not glamorous, but honestly most of my life is not glamorous despite uh, what some people think. But I'm super excited because I'm going to the new museum with Corbin. Once again, dressed in one of his incredible outfits. I'm going like full blown power suit with a harness, which I'll show you a little bit later. And I, pre quarantine, I was really geared up and ready to go and see this exhibit. It's the Jordan Castile exhibit, and Peter Saul is also has an exhibit there. And I was really excited to see both of these. And then COVID hit, lockdown hit, and I was really heartbroken. I was heartbroken, heartbroken. I was like, oh my God, if they don't extend this exhibit, I will be so distraught. And yes, they did. So I got tickets and I'm really jazzed, ending the workday a little bit early and gonna go head over and see it at five. So yeah, very, very excited. And of course, I'm gonna take you along with me. So I hope you love it too. The thing I love about this exhibit is how they set it up kind of like you see paintings in a castle <laughs> you know like a medieval castle from the olden days it's super regal which is almost like the perfect juxtaposition with how peter saul's paintings actually are which is just overly obnoxious in the best way very exaggerated politically irreverent and just this mix of it's funny because like people call him the father of pop art but honestly i feel like his work is a lot more on the surrealist side especially his newer works i feel like they kind of just didn't know what to call him which is <laughs> frankly i feel like the making of a good artist is when you can't really categorize what they do but um but yeah the over-exaggeration, whether it be the colors or the people depicted, you know, all of the presidents and overly gory um, and dramatized features of women and gore and, and all of that, I think is, is just honestly more relevant than ever, unfortunately. And uh, yeah, could not be a better time for this exhibit. The other thing that's really interesting about this exhibit is getting to see the lifespan of all of his works because it's 60 of his pieces that he's created over his entire career and you really get to see the evolution from when he was a younger artist, you know, in the 60s up until now and it's really telling of how much an artist's style and, and how much they can develop and learn over the course of their career. It's so crazy to think that, well, to believe really, that Jordan Castile is 31 years old. She's my age. And this is not her first major museum show. And the maturity in her work compared to most artists of her age, I mean, you, you're not really seeing artists have this level of, of development and consistency in their work until their 40s or 50s. And she's really, has that right out of the gate she has such a strong point of view and the way that she's able to capture people's portraits and people's souls frankly with so much empathy is it's really captivating and, and even more compelling to see in person a lot of these portraits were either members of her community in harlem or her students at rutgers and that's where you can you really see that personal connection come across in these portraits it's not just some of them are strangers on the street but it's people that she's connected with whether she knows them or not so it's been a couple of days since my visit to the new museum and i just wanted to touch base again uh, about my visit because it was really fun uh but <laughs> 
I should have known this. This is true, honestly, in most museums around the country. So I do apologize for the short amount of content, but you're not really allowed to film in <laughs> the new museum. So any footage that you see is either me, what I was able to capture before I got told off <laughs> by the guards, or um, I was able to sneak in a room that maybe guards weren't necessarily there. So yeah, sorry about the short amount of content, but overall, oh, I could have spent hours hours there um it was a little bit frustrating because we had the slot from uh when was it uh 5 p.m they closed at six we bought our tickets from five until six they ended us kick they ended up kicking us out like five minutes early which was a bit I'm like look we meant we were here needing to be here the whole hour so why would you kick us out but anyway we got to see most of the exhibit and it was really phenomenal and uh, yeah, I talked through a little bit about the artists and they're both really phenomenal. I've written blog posts if you wanna go over to my uh, blog and, and check out in a little more detail about their backgrounds and where they come from. I think the coolest thing, I love that Jordan Castile is my age, born in 1989, she's 31 years old. I mean, she's already has an, a major museum show. This is not her first major museum show, which is absolutely phenomenal and yeah, it's just really inspiring. And it was also very cool and very timely to see her painting on the cover of September Vogue and then also see her beautiful portraits in real life. Um, very lucky to be able to see those in person in New York. Very aware of all of that. But yeah, it was a great show. And I also, since I didn't really get a good um, shot of the suit that I was wearing, I wanted to put in a couple of pictures here so you can see Corbin's amazing ribbon suit. It's all basically sewn out of ribbons onto this beautiful, really delicate uh, mesh base. And so actually really airy, very comfortable, very lightweight, but just you feel so regal when you're wearing this thing. And then on top of it, we put this ribbon harness that he's created. So yeah, I just felt like an absolute boss. Also a little bit crazy <laughs> because uh, we were the only people in the museum and we're like dressed to the nines, <laughs> walking around, you know, on a, what was it, a Wednesday. <laughs> They're probably like, who are these people? But that is the thing that I love about New York is stuff like that is never really out of the ordinary in the city. Uh, you get all kinds of personalities and people here. So it was a fun midweek activity and I'm definitely looking forward to the next one. But yeah, I apologize again for the short amount of material, but hopefully the little peek that you saw uh, you will like and hopefully the new museum will forgive me for taking video. Please don't come for me. Uh, yeah, so I'll see you guys next time. Bye.